Now for the moment that I've been waiting for, because I've been slivating the whole time making this. The sweet, sour, spicy dressing. And then you plus that with the caramelization of the beef. Then on top of that, you add that with that nice fragrance and the crunch of the toasted rice. My God. So you take about two tablespoons of dry toasted rice, add it to a non-stick pan, and on a medium heat, just gently toast them until they all become nice and golden color. Here I have some shaved palm sugar. This is about 40 grams worth. From time to time, do check on your roasted rice. Yeah, the toasting of your rice. You don't want them to go burn. And to this, we're gonna be adding in some beautiful fish sauce. Stir until the sugar is dissolved and set aside. Once the rice is done, look at that beautiful color. Transfer this out into a pesto and mortar. I'm going in with some salt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind it. Beautiful. Now, it's important to get it this fine, yeah? Because if the rice is still sort of whole, then it's gonna be quite hard to bite into. But if you get it this fine, you get that nice sort of beautiful aromatic crunch. And it's something that you can put on, I find, almost anything because it has a very neutral taste to it. But what's more important, it's very, very fragrant. Now here I have a ribeye steak. Now you take some of that marinade and just dress your steak. Beautiful. Now you don't need too much of this because there's a lot of sugar in here. And uh, if you have too much, what's gonna happen is you're gonna burn the steak surface. Let that sit for a couple of minutes. Now we come back to the dressing. Now we add the lime. To the dressing, I'm also gonna be adding in some bird's eye chili. All right, get your pan, add some oil in, and the steak goes in. But it's important to get that sizzle. Look at that beautiful color on the steak. Beautiful, now, I'm going for a good medium rare. Yeah, so this is good to go. Now it's very, very important to let that rest. Now look at that color that's on the stick. It's absolutely gorgeous. And let that sit while we prep our salad. Okay, I have here half a yellow onion. Got some cherry tomatoes that I'm just gonna half. If you don't have cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes works fine as well. Now, for some cucumber. Now, I like using these baby cucumbers because there isn't much seed. Cucumber in. Now, for some herbs. Stems and leaves all go in. The stamp will give you that nice, beautiful flavor from the coriander. And very, very important in a Thai beef salad is some mint. Pick your leaves into the bowl. Now, we get some spring onion sprigs. Cut them lengthwise. Pull them together and just slice down. Add the spring onion in. With your hands, just toss everything together. Look at that, how fresh that looks. And you know when you take a bite of this, there's so much going on from all the different herbs that we put inside. This is going to be absolutely delicious. It's time for us to dress the salad. Give it a good toss around. Oh, you can smell that fish sauce, that lime coming through. Get a bowl and we can start serving. All right, now for that steak, that's been resting on the side. Use a sharp knife and just... Look at that, beautiful. Well, it's more like a medium than a medium rare. Put your steak in. Toss your salad together. Get some of that powdered rice. Oh, the moment you put the powdered rice in, that smell, yep, the aroma just changes. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Thai beef salad. All right, and now for the moment that I've been waiting for, because I've been slivating the whole time making this. Mm. Yes. Now this is the way to eat this. Like you get a, a nice slice of beef and a chunk of different things, like the onions, the herbs. 
First thing that hits you is that robustness of the herbs that you put inside, the mint, the coriander, the spring onion, the sweet, sour, spicy dressing. And then you plus that with the caramelization of the beef, that nice flavor that, you know, caramelized meat gives you. Then on top of that, you add that with that nice fragrance and the crunch of the toasted rice. My God. I hope you've enjoyed this episode today with a very simple beef salad. And if you do, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it or if you have a different version of it. Um, let me know, all right? Stay cooking. Ciao.